In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a larger than mat decal. So I'm going to start by grabbing an image from my images. I'm choosing a flag. It doesn't have that many colors, so I think it makes it easier to show you how to cut it up quickly. So I'm going to insert it. And if you look over here on the bottom left hand side of my screen, I have my screen zoomed out to 25%. I do that when I'm doing something really large so that I can see the whole image or as much of the image depending on how big I'm doing it on the screen. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to use, the, I'm going to unlock my dimensions so that I can kind of make this the proportions that I want it to. I find it to be easier to change them up there than to kind of drag it out and stuff. So now I'm going to go over to my layers panel and I'm going to ungroup my image that way I can use each section at a time. So I'm going to start with my blue layer here. I can see that it's 10.8 inches wide by 11.849 inches tall. So that means it will fit on my 12 by 24 mat. If you're using a 12 by 12 mat, the 11 0.8 is too big. It needs to be 11.5. So I'm not going to slice that up because I, for the purposes of this video, because I do have a 12 by 24 mat. So I could use that. And the same as the stars, this would fit on a 12 by 12 mat because it's 9.8 by 10.6. So I can set these two aside and um, I don't really need to slice them up. But if you do have, if you don't have the bigger mat, you will have to slice that blue section up. So for the um, for the stripes, I'm going to take my red one first and duplicate it. This is what I find a little bit easier to do is to use the contour button instead of slicing it when I can. So I'm going to take the contour and I'm going to get rid of the three bottom ones. Those I know I'm going to have to slice because they're really long. So then I look at the top one and it's 16.2 inches wide by 11.89 inches. So I am going to have to slice that up too. So I'm just going to delete that then and I'll just slice up this whole image. So depending on what size mat you have, just pick a square and I'm going to duplicate it a few times so I don't have to keep grabbing a shape. So I'm going to make this 11 and a half by 11 and a half just in case you have a 12 by 12 mat, it will make it easier for you to visualize. So with the 11 and a half by 11 and a half, um, if you do have a bigger mat, you can do um, bigger sections, but if you don't, the 11 and a half by 11 and a half is good. So I have my square and I'm going to move it to the back. That way I can make sure I'm getting as close to the edge as I can here. And then I'm going to hold the shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to select the red layer and I'm going to slice. Now I'm going to delete the gray pieces because I don't need them. So when I move this red, there's a gray piece under there too. And then I'm going to set this aside. And now when I look at this overall image here, I can see that I'm going to have to do some more slicing. So I'm going to, again, make an 11 and a half by 11 and a half inch square. And I'm going to see how much of this I can fit. So what I'm probably going to do here is slice off just this little piece here. So again, I'm going to hold the shift key and select it. You can select it in your layers panel too. It's up to you. And then I'm going to slice it and I'm going to remove all of the pieces I don't need and set aside these pieces. Um, what I really like to do too is make sure that I'm lining. I mean, for this image, it's really fine because it's all just squares or rectangles, but I like to keep them, if I can, when I set them to the side, in the order that I'm slicing them so that when I go to put it back together, it's much easier to visualize. But uh, because it's just squares, putting it back together would be simple. They're all going to be really in the same place. And then I'm going to do the same with this little section here. And I'm going to slice it. And then I am left with my red pieces up at the top. So if you do have the 12 by 24 mat, let's see. Um, 
then you can just slice this in half. Actually, because this is, yeah, you'll have to do that. If you have a 12 by 24 mat, you could just separate these to the top bars from the bottom bars. You could use the contour button and that would be fine. But we'll just keep going with the 11 and a half by an 11 and a half inch squares. Um, I like, oh, this is just off. So I'm going to just pull this down and I'm just going to slice the top three. This is why I like having a bigger mat for when I do bigger wall decals. It's much easier. You can slice bigger sections. So we're just going to do this. Oops. I'll undo that. You can use the undo button or control Z on your keypad. Um, I'm going to select it in my layers panel to make sure I'm getting the right piece. And I didn't do enough shapes, so I'm going to go back here and grab some more. Duplicated a bunch. And then I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to slice the half the rest of this bottom piece because when I go to the top piece it will no it'll still be too big all right so I'm going to try and slice this as best as close as I can to what I already had it sliced at and then I'm going to get rid of the gray pieces I'll show you just do it in your layers panel and delete it and put this over here and now this is, this would fit on your eight and a half, uh, I mean your 12 by 11 mat, or 12 by 24, my goodness. So I'm just going to leave that aside. And then you'll do the same thing with the white layer. Just, you know, slice it all apart. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do, an, I'm going to do, I'm going to do 11 and a half by 23 and a half. For those of you who have the bigger mat, it will be easier um, just for this I'm going to show you oh I did it the wrong way and I'll just show you for the if you have the bigger mat it's much easier to do this so we can just slice off the bottom part here and we can even see what's left for the rest of that white part because it might fit on a 12 by 24 mat. Let's see, pull this apart and this, nope, still too wide. So we're going to, I'm going to slice off, it's hard to see with the white, but there's the three little pieces from the edge here. And I'm just going to do an 11 and a half inch square since I don't need to make it that big just to slice off those few little pieces. So I'm going to slice it delete the gray pieces and oops I deleted the wrong piece delete the green the gray pieces and then if I check this part here this would fit on a 20 a 12 by 24 mat so I'm just going to leave that I'm going to delete the gray pieces and when you go to make it you'll see it will tell you it will prompt you up here you need um, uh, it will just say you need a larger mat. Just click OK, and it will already choose that mat automatically for you. And then you just cut and piece everything back together. That's it.